In our last video, we connected to the Pico Calc computer using a USB cable and TerraTerm as our application on the computer. Anything typed on the Pico Calc will be displayed on TerraTerm. However, the problem I have with TerraTerm is I can't type anything on the TerraTerm console and have it appear on the Pico Calc. When I attempt to type on the TerraTerm console, nothing appears on the screen and nothing appears on the Pico Calc. I've tried amending the configuration on TerraTerm, but I can't seem to find the correct settings. Despite having used TerraTerm on a number of occasions to communicate with retro RC2014 ZAD computers successfully. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to switch to using another terminal emulation package. And the one I'm going to use today is one called CoolTerm. On this I can successfully connect. And once connected I can type on the console and have my text appear. And then anything coming back from the PicoCalc will be displayed on the screen. This makes controlling the PicoCalc remotely much easier. So as far as the connection options go on CoolTerm, these are the ones I'd set up. The baud rate I set to the default 115200. 8 data bits, no parity, 1 stop bit. For the terminal I've left most of the defaults exactly as they were. And I've ticked the convert escape hash D to backspaces and also the handle backspace and Dell characters. However even this application does have its limitations. If we look at the basic program currently loaded and we attempt to look at this in edit mode well this appears on the PicoCalc quite successfully it does not appear correctly on the cool term again another configuration setting I've yet to master however you can see it quite successfully by just typing in list this application on screen is a demo clock application. If we attempt running this, as you can see we have the date and time appearing quite successfully on the Pico Calc. This application will run indefinitely until such times as you break out of the program by holding the shift and pressing the break key. So what we're going to look at now is how we get applications from our main computer into the Pico Calc. And for this we're going to use xmodem. If we look at this application which is Owner Lander, we have a fairly long application. Can we get this onto the PicoCalc? Since we have this in a file, we're going to send this file from your computer to your PicoCalc using xmodem. First thing we need to do is to trigger xmodem on the PicoCalc by typing in xmodem receive and then the enter button. The PicoCalc is now waiting for a file to be transmitted to it. We can now go to the connection menu and click send file. Leave it on xmodem and then select the file. We pick the file we wish to send, click send file and it is now being sent across the USB connection and we have a successful transmission. If we now type list on the terminal we can see there is our application. And if we try running it, we can see now our application is running quite happily. So this gives us an easy way of actually typing up an application in BASIC on Notepad on your main computer. And once you've typed all of that in or downloaded it from a website, you can then transmit it using xmodem over to the PicoCalc. So now that we've managed to load applications from our main computer onto the PicoCalc, is there a way of actually auto-executing an application as soon as the PicoCalc boots up? So if we have a look on our B drive, which is our SD card, we can see we have a don'tpanic.bas application. And we want this to run as soon as the PicoCalc boots up. So let's load that one into memory.
And if we run the application to see what it does, this is the one that displays the Don't Panic bitmap on screen. So we want to save that to our flash storage. To slot number one. And having saved that, we can then set the option for auto run. To slot number one. So having done that, we will now power off our PicoCalc. And power it back on once more. And there, having powered on, it will jump straight in to display the bitmap. So if you have some application you want to load all the time as soon as your PicoCalc boots up, this is the way to do it. So if we look at what else we have on our SD card, we'll switch back to the, the B drive. And at the top of the screen we have a WAV file, an audio file. So we can play this WAV file by using the play command. And following that with the name of the file we wish to play. And the WAV file is now playing. So in summary, what we've seen today is an alternative way of actually connecting to our PicoCalc by using the CoolTerm application. We have demonstrated some graphics by using the Clock application, and we've also demonstrated using the option Auto Run to allow you to run an application as soon as your application boots up. The demo we did was to display a bitmap on the screen. But of course, you could run any application you wish to create. So that a user would not have to run an application specifically, they would get the one you have set up for them to run. I'll put a link in the description below to GitHub, which has a source for PicoCalc basic applications. But that's it for today. Thank you for watching.